everyone and welcome to Branches. My name is Alexis and I'm an amateur genealogist and on this channel I talk about everything genealogy. In this series, this is part one, I'm going to be discussing the Atchison family, which I'm a part of. And in this specific video, I'm going to be discussing the life of Frank Bettis Atchison. Let's get into it. Frank was born April 4th, 1902, which happens to be the same birth date as my dad. Of course, my dad was born in 1964, but anyway. And Frank was born in Alabama to James Napoleon Atchison and Jesse Foster Dancy. And by the time he was eight years old, the family had moved to Mississippi, settling in the McHenry area. And uh, Frank had about seven siblings, so it was a large family. In the 1920 census, he is listed as being 18 years old, attending school, and he was able to read and write. He was still living at home, at the home of his mother. Only his mother was listed as being head of the household. Not sure what was going on there or why. Maybe his father was away doing, I don't know. Anyway, so his father was not listed in the census. Uh, Frank went on to attend the Stone Agricultural High School, where he was a member of the football team, and I'll insert some pictures here, and he graduated in 1924. In 1927, Frank married Eva May Parker. The following year, he and Eva would have their first child, Frances Eva Atchison. In the 1930 census, Frank and his little family were living with Eva's family in McHenry, he is also listed as being a laborer in the lumber industry. In 1931, Eva, well, Eva and Frank welcomed their second child, a son, Walter James Pete Atchison. In 1933, Frank's father, James, passed away. And in 1935, Frank and Eva welcomed their third and final child, Margaret Joan Atchison. In the 1940 census, Frank's occupation was listed as being a foreman in road construction. In 1941, the family moved to Leesville, Alabama. Now, my grandfather, who is uh, Walter James Pete Atchison, he tells me about how they moved to Louisiana, how he hated it, and so my grandfather moved back to McHenry to live with his grandmother. And because he, he didn't like it at all, he said he couldn't make any friends. He just really was not happy there. So the family sent him back to live with his grandmother. On March 24th, 1944, Frank's mother passed away. After his short stay in Louisiana, the family moved back to McHenry where they remained from then on. On August 4th, 1971, Frank passed away at the Stone County Hospital following an illness. He's buried at the Oaklawn Cemetery in McHenry. He had a very long and fruitful life. He, um, Frank is my great grandfather. I did not know him because he did pass away in 1971 before I was even born. I did, however, know his wife, my grandma Atch, as we called her. That was Eva, Eva May Atchison, his wife. And, um, she was an interesting lady. Uh, she was definitely had her ways. She was very prim and very proper. Always had her makeup done, her hair done, dressed to the nines. She was quite a lady. <laughs> but I hope you enjoy this video and give it a like, a little thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification for when our videos go live. See you guys later.